Hey everybody and welcome back to another Thursday Shuffle. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right, we're back again with eight random packs of Magic the Gathering's history. We of course have some wonderful, wonderful sets here. We've got Saviors of Kamigawa, Ravnica, City of Guilds in our modern or older slot, Crimson Vow and Dungeons and Dragons in our standard slot, Aether Revolt and Ikoria in our Pioneer slot, and Conspiracy Take the Crown and Modern Horizons 2 in our supplementary set slot. That's right, so we've got four slots across Magic's history. Uh, every week we ask you to vote for what you would like added that we opened the previous week, essentially. So last week we opened up a Pioneer pack and a supplementary set, and these were the two that were voted in by you, the community. So thank you for putting in your votes. I greatly appreciate it. We've added these to the pile. We're going to shuffle these up and pick two at random to open up. If you're new here, welcome. We open up two random packs every week from Magic the Gathering's history. Um, you know, the modern packs can get pretty weird and crazy, of course. But I think the idea here behind this series is that I get to open up two packs each week that are different and each video should be different from the last and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully the idea is here that we never really see two of the same packs opened in the same week. Let's get our trusty D8 here and take a look at what we're going to be opening. Roll twice. We're going to do number eight. So the bottom pack and number one. So we're doing the top and the bottom. Ooh, looks like we're getting that Aether Revolt pack finally. We got Conspiracy, Take the Crown, and Aether Revolt. There we go. Let's see if my evil ex-girlfriend Aether Revolt can uh, show us some love maybe. I, I, I doubt it. I mean... The here the purpose here if you're if you're new to the channel welcome I have a weird like relationship with Aether Revolt I opened up like I don't know it had to have been well over f 500 packs of Aether Revolt uh, and I did I hit one a single uh, a single invention out of all of those packs um, and uh, it was it was bad it was really bad um, we didn't we didn't get there it made me believe that. The inventions just don't even exist. I opened an entire case, didn't get any. Opened an entire case of pre-release kits, got one out of an entire case of pre-release kits. Opened up like, I don't know, seven bundles, maybe more. Didn't get any. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was a rough go. It was a rough go from Aether Revolt. So here we go. We got a Stone Shock Giant, Nessian Asp, and Marchesa's Decree as our uncommons from Conspiracy Take the Crown. And then we've got Hey Burgeoning. That's a pretty nice rare. We'll take that. Very nice. Very great card for uh, Commander. And then we got a Foil Acroan Hoplite. With, of course, our conspiracy card here, Adriana's Valor. And uh, we got a Construct. We got the 1-1 one, one Construct token. All right, Aether Revolt. Let's see what you've got for us. Nine commons means we have a Foil and or Invention, right? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... See, there's no, there's not even, I don't even have to like worry about it, right? Like, I mean, I just count the commons and I know immediately that Aether Revolt has let me down. It's just how it is. We've got a Rogue Refiner. We've got a Vengeful Rebel. we got a Live Crafter's Awakening as our uncommons from the pack. And then our rare, his Metallic Mimic, which is not a bad little rare. We'll take that. I mean, Tribal Tribal is definitely a thing that's kicking around Commander these days. And I mean, it's just a good card in general for any kind of Tribal deck, regardless of what format you're playing in. Um, so yeah, we'll take that. Um, so, and then a forest and an energy token. Man, remember when, uh, remember when Kaladesh came out and they, they made energy and they didn't print an energy token to represent energy. And so people were like, how do we do this? And they went, oh yeah, we messed that up. And then they printed the energy tokens in like the second run of Kaladesh. So if you had like the first run of Kaladesh, it wouldn't have any energy tokens in it. But if you got the second run of Kaladesh, it had energy tokens in it. Very fun. Very hilarious situation to have. But there you go. Not bad. We got two really good rares from these two sets. So, hey, I can't complain about that. And, I mean, these are just some random packs. So, we're going to be adding something, of course, to the Pioneer Pack slot and something to the Supplementary slot next week. So, check, watch out for those polls. They will probably be up to either today or sometime later tomorrow or on the weekend. Um, I've taken to filming these episodes basically on, like, you know... Tuesday, Wednesday before they go up to give more people time to vote, essentially. It's kind of the idea. Also, because I've been putting the votes up later because I keep forgetting to do so. You know how it goes. It's just a little bit of, it's just one of those things. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you all have a great, wonderful day. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.